Adam. Thank you. Mr. President, there's very little disagreement about the fact that America's immigration system is broken and in need of reform. For far too long, our immigration system has punished those who had come to this country to pursue their American dream, play by their rules, while rewarding those who do not respect our laws. As a result, our nation is suffering. That's why it's important for this body to have an open and transparent amendment process as we move forward on this immigration reform legis legislation, try to fix what's broken with our immigration system. And no state feels the impact of this broken immigration system more than my home state of Nevada. Nevada is a top destination for travelers all over the world and is an international hub through which tens of millions of people pass each year. Our state benefits from the cultural diversity of Filipino, Cuban, Chinese, and Armenian communities, just to name a few, and we are couched between two states that border the country of Mexico. Las Vegas is known for McCarran International Airport, which sees tens of millions of international tourists each year and is merely a short drive away from Los Angeles, San Diego, and Phoenix. Nevada's unique, unique location leaves it highly vulnerable to our flawed immigration system and open to this exact same problems faced by other southwestern border states like Arizona, Texas, California, and New Mexico. But despite the fact that Nevada is, in many respects, a border state that copes with the exact same immigration problems facing states like California, this bill in its current form excludes Nevada from the list of states that are eligible to join the Southern Border Security Commission. So my amendment, Heller 1227, would include Nevada with other southwestern border states whose governors would comprise the Southern Border Security Commission. This amendment ensures that the commission created in the underlying bill is fully representative of issues affecting southern border and southwestern states. Although Nevada does not touch the southern border, its current demographics and state issues are reflective of other southern border states, and Nevada should have a voice on this commission. Mr. President, the problems of our immigration system are not simply geographic problems of latitude and longitude. They impact my home state in profound ways. I encourage my colleagues to support this common sense amendment. As I've said, this immigration reform legislation is important, and we have an opportunity to provide much needed solutions to the problems with our immigration system. But we must also ensure that the bill does not make matters worse by creating more confusion and placing heavier burdens on the economy and on the American people. My home state, Nevada, continues to lead the nation in high unemployment, bankruptcies, and foreclosures. It's absolutely critical that this immigration bill does not hinder Nevada's already struggling economy. That's why I filed two amendments, Heller 1234 and 1235, which will help to safeguard Nevada's recovering tourism industry in a way that meets our nation's border security needs. The bill before us today mandates the implementation of an entry exit system that will include a biometric data system for all ports of entry, including the 10 highest volume airports. The implementation of such a system is long overdue in order to comply with current law, but we can take steps to make sure it does not negatively impact international travel. While I firmly believe that we need to process our visitors both in and out of this country safely and securely, it is also essential that this mandatory exit system not cause increased travels, delays at international passengers at high volume airports like McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. So I filed an amendment that will require DHS to submit a report to Homeland Security and Government Reform Committee within 60 days of the enactment of the underlying bill detailing how DHS intends to implement this biometric exit system. Requiring DHS to outline its implementation plan will provide the necessary guidance and clarity to airports that will first be required to comply with the system, as well as ensuring they provide the necessary staffing at these airports in an effort to minimize the impact on the flow, on the flow of travelers. Additionally, Heller 1235 will require DHS to create a, waiting time, a wait time reduction goal and increase 
and increases deemed necessary by the department the number of customs and borders protection officers so that airports with high volumes of international travelers can process them in a timely manner. Under this amendment, DHS will be required to develop a viable plan to reduce wait times by 50% at airports with the highest volumes of international travelers. Wait times for international visitors at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas are already significantly high largely due to a lack of custom and border protection officers. This amendment will help to alleviate these wait times, help to reduce the congestion that is discouraging travel and ultimately hurting our economy. Mr. President, the underlying bill is far from perfect, but as General George Patton famously said, a good plan executed today is better than a perfect plan executed next week. The amendments I'm filing today will increase government transparency and help to make sure that this bill does not add more confusion to the immigration process, which would only make the problems with our immigration system worse. I urge my colleagues to join me in that effort by supporting these amendments. And with that, Mr. President, I yield back the floor. Thank you.